Hey guys, let me welcome you back to the channel. My name's Justin and you're watching Survival Mindset. So I got a bunch of viewers request on the Five Joy shovel here. Um, I did the review and I showed them just a couple things that this shovel basically can do, such as the ferro rod. I struck the ferro rod on it, created fire with it, and chopped just a few pieces of wood. What we'll be doing is a full test on this shovel. We'll be looking at the shovel at the end of the video to see how well all the rivets have held up, um, the collar on it, including the handle. And already I've taken this to a camp. I'm at my cabin right now. So I've already been testing it out pretty much. Um, it's all cleaned up and everything right now. Um, there goes the forestry right there. That's what you guys hear in the background, the forestry. Um, there's a dirt trail right here. Um, we're having forest fires all over California. Also this shovel, uh, um, we're gonna be lifting up some coals with. Um, I use this with my Dutch oven. Also, you can take the ash out of any fire pit with it. Um, the only thing I would like to see Five Joy Shovel do is put more of a point, not this concave edge on this. Um, it really doesn't make no sense because um, you can't dig with it, but everything else I'm liking. Um, I do like the fact that it has a little scale here. The stepping shoulder on it's really nice as well. Um, now these two screws in here, they've been holding up really good. So they're epoxied in, I guess. Um, hopefully they are. Um, they haven't backed out yet whatsoever, so that's really good. Um, the, the blade on the side of the shovel, this side, and also on this side, is still very sharp. It's got no nicks in it or curls in it, you know. Um, and the tip, you don't use that much, but you can use the tip. Um, also, like I talked about in my review, this shovel is a perfect self-defense tool for any wild animal that's at you or anyone that's trying to harm you or your family, basically. So yeah, we're going to do some chopping right now and I'm going to just demo this shovel out to 100% so you guys can get a feel on if you do want to buy this shovel. And I, I, so far, I highly recommend buying this one. Now, if you wanted this, check out the review on the specs and how the ferro rod worked. Um, I'll have that video linked down below in the description box for you guys to check out. And they also do make another shovel I want to bring up right now with the point on it. It's more of a survival type of a shovel that screws apart and everything. I don't prefer any kind of shovel that's like screwing apart and you know you're you're taking all your survival saws out and stuff. Basically those saws don't work. Those ferro rods don't work. Um, if it did have a compass on it, easy it falls off, what have you. But this is the kind of shovel I like to have because of the fact that it's all in one and it's not going to be falling apart on you. Okay, so let's get to some testing, some serious testing with the Five Joy shovel. First off, what we're going to be testing out is each side of the shovel, how well it bites into a log. So right there, you're looking at an inch, and I barely swung that thing. Okay, so taking the shovel out, it's going to take a while to get out, but we're going to be testing out this side now on a new chunk of wood right there, and that sunk down into this log right here you know, an inch and a half, okay? So we'll take that out right now. This is also good too, like if you wanna pry anything off, like a log like that. So we just removed the bark off of this log. So we got a big chunk of bark off of there. Now this bark makes a excellent source where you can lay your fatwood into. Um, it's got like a windshield on each side of this bark. So your fires is going to be burning on here and basically 
all barks have a little bit of sap in it or a lot of sap in it so yes this is a perfect example right here of a piece of wood that would get any fire started so I can just work my way around this tree right here removing all the bark if I want with this shovel it really does a good job so now I just remove the entire piece of bark off the back side of this so picking up this log right now has no bark on it okay so now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna grab a couple pieces of wood and let me remind you guys this is this the small chopping tool that's gonna get like kenneline started it's not an all-day chopper what have you so here's a piece of wood it ranges in a half an inch all the way up to three and a half inches, four inches right there. Okay, so this one's leaning that way, so we wanna have it leaning out towards the camera. And what we're gonna be doing now is chopping in this area right here to see how well this shovel's gonna be split in the wood. And that split it pretty nice. So you got small kenneling right there to start off with. Um, we'll go into the two inch zone on the piece of wood right here see how well that chops and yeah that chopped really nice and now we're gonna get into the bigger stuff so you're looking at a thickness of you know close to three inches I would say right there two and a half inches three inches two and five eighths and it handles like a champ. Now nothing's wrong with the shovel. I'll bring it up close so you guys can see it. So look at that. We chopped with that side and also with that side as well. So what we're gonna continue on doing is we're gonna chop some more wood here. I do have some smaller, longer pieces. What I wanna do now this is when this part comes in handy right here. Um, when you have a flat piece of wood down here, um, you can chop into it nicely. You know, you can hit it like with this angle or right there if you want. So you gotta have the shovel gapped up like so. Um, sometimes it takes several hits because this isn't the way you normally chop wood, but it'll do it just like that so let me show you that piece of wood right here the other piece is way down the canyon right now um, let's chop that piece real quick and yes that handles very nicely Really bouncy, guys. Shovel's holding up pretty nice so far. You can see it's doing a good job. There, it took a bite now. Now we got it started. Not too bad.
So you see we're down to about a good inch right there, okay? So I got a lot of limbs in the way here. There it goes. Let's finish her off. Let's see how well it handles a really crooked piece of wood. This isn't a good piece at all, let me tell you. But it still did the job. So this piece is, this is the bad piece all the way around. But let's chop it one more time here. And it goes through it. If you do want to do some chunks of wood with it, you know, so you can get some, not feather sticks, but this little chunks started. You can do that with this shovel too. So it takes off wood really nice. I mean, it's pretty much a wood eater in my opinion. So you got all this fine kenneling right here, tinder right here, I mean. So you got plenty of tinder right there. And let's see if it feather sticks. I don't think it will, but it might. So it does get a couple feathers off of here, but not many. So it gets, um, some fine curls as I'll show you right now those are the curls it's getting now I've already used this shovel on the Dutch oven and the coals before but the shovel is pretty good for removing any kind of ash out of a fire pit I got no place I want to dump it right now, but I can push all this to the side, you know, and I can also make sure my fire's out at night with this shovel by moving some of this loose ash over all the hot coals. So if someone put that cocaine in there, whatever it is. So now I got a nice clearance for my fire tonight. My fire pit's looking real solid right now. So yeah, we're going to have a nice fire tonight. So we're going to be removing some more bark. This one's going to take a little bit. Okay, I broke that one, but that's alright. It's a good little piece to have right here. I got two more good pieces and I pretty much completed my shelter so we do have a piece going in right here and I got this really thin piece which I want to put right here for right now and basically demoing this shovel out on stripping woods, it's really easy. And this thing is real solid too, as you guys can see. Compound these in, interlock them real nicely. So that one's locked in. Um, you can tie it with the bank line and several different points too. Um, so all around this shovel has been a really nice shovel to have out in the woods or at your camp or doing any kind of bushcraft project.